Zombie Apocalypse. So in case for some reason you missed the other day, Konami announced a brand new Master Duel game for Yu-Gi-Oh! What's going on guys, it's Simo. Just a few days ago at the time of recording this video, Konami announced that they have in development a brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! video game. Now, they didn't announce- Big Yu-Gi-Oh! news today. Soon, within a few hours of this- Alright, what is going on everybody? Bastion Waijo here, and I want to go ahead and talk to you guys about basically the, the the new games coming out the in the announcement big the big reveal that's going to be happening very very soon as to what this game actually is going to be so apparently all we really know is that it's called master duel uh well it's well, that's not what it's called but it's going to be based around the master rule uh, right off the bat i'm really 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 excited uh, now this is not not something that definitely that i really considered or even thought would happen at this stage um, but it does make sense a lot because because we are during the the quarantine. I would well, it would make a little more sense. It just came out a little bit ago, but I understand. So in order for Konami to make this type of announcement, they better be ready to release something that's really freaking good. So we have we've had plenty of dual simulators. We have YGO Pro, Def Pro, Nexus, Dueling Network, du Dueling Book. Rift Dueling Network. <laughs> we we've had uh, so many different um, the Legacy of the Duelist, which was uh, which was a, um, a Konami made game, uh, but it, they all had their own flaws. And I think Konami's trying what they're trying to do is they're really trying to just follow the business model that uh, the MT the Magic the Gathering uh, the Magic Arena is trying to do, where they're it's a free to play game. Right, but it is going to have a way to monetize it. So the Konami can really go one or two ways. Either making it a well, actually, there's three ways that I believe Konami would go ahead and be able to make this game possible in a way that benefits them the most. Right, not the most as in like you know they're scheming, but and they have it's and from a business perspective, they have to make money off this as well. They can't just release a product that that you don't pay for and it's absolutely free as amazing as that would be and something that we would all love it, it in a real world where you know business moves are made is not something that i really see happening too much so um there's three ways i can go ahead and see this be monetized uh first they just make it uh just like a, you would buy a game from gamestop or from walmart or from the playstation store or whatever it might be is just like 20 30 bucks and that's it and that's how you go ahead and get started. Now, just by the way that I see this coming, I don't think that they're gonna go in that route just because it doesn't make them money in the long run. Yu-Gi-Oh! is a game that is still, of course, releasing new product, releasing new cards, new mechanics, things like this. So I don't really believe that would be the, the correct way to go about it, just to make it 20 bucks, that's it. Go ahead and then just keep updating the game. Now, a... A, another way I could do it is just through advertisements, which is not something that we would technically be too keen for, although it would cost us nothing on our end as the consumer, but it would still be able to go ahead and make Konami a decent amount of money if they for some somehow would put ads in, in between loading screens or as you're waiting to go ahead and get matched up, which realistically to have a free Sim, uh, dual simulator made by Konami and I, all I have to do to play it is sit through like a 5 to 15 second ad in order to play that's not really too much of a turnoff considering the the quality that we are expecting from Konami and the last way I can see that Konami just go ahead and be able to make this and the way that I believe it would be make most sense is if they have one game where it's it's initially very free to play, so there's two routes, right? You have like a like a campaign route where you can go ahead and play online against your friends, things like this. You have access to the entire card pool, and then there is the competitive, where you would go ahead and pay to enter. You'd have to buy specific packs and things like this. You go ahead and get more cards. You could buy cards, but uh, packs. But what I do want them to do is to take into consideration the secondary market and be able to go ahead and purchase digital singles to go ahead and build your deck because in all the the thing that i'm seeing with all the Yu-Gi-Oh games that i've seen coming out 
uh, ever since I was a kid. The main thing is that you're always buying packs and packs and packs. Same thing with duels, you're buying packs and packs and packs until you're able to go ahead and get the cards you need. For example, I was playing, uh, when I played Duel Links, yes, I do play Duel Links. I have a, a Satellar Knight deck. Now, to, in order to get Satellar Knight Deltros, with those who, you guys who are, uh, who know about the game, is uh, one of those ultimate rares, ultra, the one that's uh, only comes one per box, whatever. That took me a long time to pull. A long time, I only, I only needed one. And that's, that's the thing, it takes so long to the point where it's, it just doesn't... There's, there were so many times where I just said, you know what, I'm not, I don't, I don't want to put up with it, but I would, I would still go back to it, but it's not something that I believe would be the best way. I think if they it were implement like, uh, like a section where you could go into Grandpa's card shop or, you know, whatever it might be, and you can go ahead and pick up specific cards you want, so you're able to build an online deck uh, relatively low. Um, I'm assuming they're not gonna they're not gonna go directly off the secondary market and make you pay a hundred dollars for a lightning storm that is just a digital copy unless it were to also come with a physical copy which is another idea they could do but that's just what I see about like the money perspective what they could do now as far as what I would love to see from the game moving forward there's two real main things that I want to see first is for them to have a solo play option there's all, all of the simulators that are that are there in order for us to use right now a lot of them don't really offer that option which is something that i i believe they're personally missing on a big part of the experience i mean essentially when you first pick up a deck and you're learning it and i've been around Yu-Gi-Oh players for a while some uh some of them have told me that the strategies are what they use to learn to learn a deck uh, you know they just sit down lay out all the cards in front of them and they'll try to work out combos by playing test hands right and I think that's something that's very, very important in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! is to be able to completely understand how the deck works. Maybe go up against AI or just to do basic test hands against nothing just so you don't have that uh, that, that experience where you're testing out a deck and you don't know what you're doing but you're playing against someone else online, which is a bit of an awkward feeling. I'm pretty sure we've all been there. I'm not, I am not can't be the only one who goes in there trying to play Majestus. I have no idea what the hell I'm doing and, <laughs> and I get completely wrecked by Melodious. That didn't happen. Well, not by Melodious anyway. Um, so that's, that's a really something really big that I think needs to come into this game if you're gonna, you know, make sure it's successful. Um, again, past the monetization side of it is really just make sure you have in verse AI or just a test hand uh, section of the game, just so that players can go ahead and learn how to play the, or maybe even tutorials, but the tutorials might be a it's gonna be a lot of work because there's a lot of different decks out there, especially decks like uh, like Dragon Link. How can you? How can Konami have a, a tutorial for Dragon Link? You know, it plays so many different cards that, or, or Igno, uh, Infernoble Knight, I should say. It plays so many different cards. There's no way to have a tutorial about how to play Infernoble Knight. You can have one for for pure uh, archetypes, but each branching out one, all these like like if you have your your spicy tech zoo elvlich shadal invoke dogmatica deck all in one <laughs> i think you're gonna have to go ahead and learn that one on your own but if they had tutorials about how to play each specific archetype i think that'd be amazing i think that'd be that's a bit of a reach um i think that'd be really really great but honestly i just want to see if it's going to be a konami made game the expectations already are so high because we expect it to be so much better than what we already have right now so in order for it to be good, I mean, the animations need to be amazing. Like Duel Links does a great job when you're summoning out Dark Magician and you're playing as Yugi, it'll have that great summoning animation or Utopia. Um, if you're playing as, uh, was it Yuma? Uh, the Zexel guy, <laughs> Yuma, I, th I think it's Yuma. Uh, so you're playing as Yuma, you summon uh, the Utopia. And it has this big animation with the sword and wings and whatever. It's cool. Like honestly, it's really really cool. And I wish they had that for literally like all the cards. It's a it's a lot to ask for. But one thing that um, is necessary if you're gonna make an official Konami game is holograms. I'm just say that straight up. It's been a thing since the very first anime. It's the very first series. You saw them playing with the with the dual monsters, and you could see. Uh, Joey summoning out his red eyes and 
And even in, the, in like the very first few episodes, you saw Kaiba summon blue eyes and you have like the hologram standing up and attacking each other. That's something that magic has, that Magic the Gathering uh, has. And something that Yu-Gi-Oh still doesn't have and it's not like that's a big part of magic. It just has the animation because they want to go ahead and appeal as most of their player base as possible. And I understand there's easily over 10,000 cards that have been created in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. Right, but if you have that just for the monsters themselves, if you have it for the spells and traps, that would completely blow it out the water. But just to have the animation, just so you can see what it would be like uh, from from a character's perspective, seeing these monsters on the field, I think that'd be something that'd be really really cool, and a lot of people would be very very excited about. I'm still waiting to be able to have the little um, dual discs thing, but. It's okay if that if that's gonna be a little bit more futuristic, that's perfectly fine. But just to be able to have that type of interaction through your computer screen, that'd be really, really cool. Um, like I said, I was watching I was watching Simo's video about how he's uh, talking about making that game accessible on mobile. That would be amazing, but with the amount of space that just a game like Duel Links takes, and it doesn't Duel Links doesn't have pendulum summoning, link summoning, um, just because I feel like that would take a lot of space. And the amount of cards, I, I don't know if the hardware is there to be perfectly honest with you, just on a phone. Um, but definitely accessible to computers. And if you make that accessible to more people as well, maybe you can go ahead and play it uh, on your PlayStations or the Xbox. Um, and make it, make it, make it like a partnership with like the uh, with the new consoles that they just released. And I think a really cool way to go ahead and make sure that uh, the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh fans are buying into these as well is by having that game either come with it or be a, or be accessible through it. Uh, of course, cross-platform. Of course, cross-platform. Don't forget that. Um, but it's just some of the things that I feel like would be really necessary for Konami to go ahead and input in their game to make sure that it is successful. Um, of course, we talked about the monetization. We talked about the things that we would love to see as fans. At least I would love to see as a fan of the actual card game. Um, so that's pretty much what I got for right now guys. We don't really have too much to go off of unless you wanted to go ahead and talk about the Rush Duels from Yu-Gi-Oh 7, but that's not something that very much interests me to be perfectly honest with you. So go ahead and leave a like in the, in the, in the like button. Just go ahead and smash that. If you go, if you enjoyed this video, um, if you have any comments, anything you want to go ahead and make sure that is Konami hears us as a community, as a player's base that you want in the game, let me know in the comment section below. You know, maybe my opinion is completely different than yours and that's okay. That's why we have this amazing platform. So go ahead and leave a like for more, subscribe for more videos guys, and I will see y'all in the next one. Later.